Hey guys, welcome back to some more of Valheim. I'm sure most of you guys are nursing hangovers from St. Paddy's Day last night. But as you can see, uh, I have a new, a new cape. Uh, I was able to take one of our wolves. It was actually the first wolf I took. Uh, I took him down and led him to fight some things and well, he fought me. <laughs> I shot him, he gave me his head, he gave me a pelt and we were able to get this. Which is really good because now we can actually go into the um, mountain biome without having to use potions all the time, which is amazing because, well, it saves so much time. Uh, two days in game for six potions, and which we're going away too fast if we die. So, um, I went in, you can see I went in here and I did a little bit of scouting around. And right here, I actually found a really cool fort. And basically it was like one of those, it like overhangs the, uh, like off the side of a mountain. And it actually had the location thing, the rune, for the next boss. But you can see just how far away it is. That's ridiculous. This is going to be like, well, it's the same distance from like Ether basically to here. Like that's so far away. So today's plan, uh, actually I was just looking at this. I've got seven, so I've got 30 silver here. Plus seven more and five in here, which means we can do a couple upgrades. The biggest upgrade I want to do though, is I want to, well, I want to get a new weapon to be honest. And the weapon we want, I want to go see if I have enough gold to buy um, that Ymir, Ymir, Ymir flesh. We need four more of this. I've got 30 silver, so I want to get all this stuff. I've got it all, most of it besides the flesh. Because I want to try out this uh, new mace. It's got blunt damage, frost damage, and spirit damage. And I really want to try that out. And then, uh... That'll leave us with... What's going to leave us with? I think there's, is there 10 in here now? 8. We might have enough. If my math is correct. We'll have just enough. Where I think we can do um, the chest and legs of silver, the wolf armor, which would be awesome. So I want to do that. And then the next plan that I have, whoops, wrong button, is I want to, I want to build, I want to build the long ship today. And the reason for it is <laughs> so big. I want to see if we can sail it. And I want to go and try to figure out how to get here. So today's plan, we are going to go on an adventure. We're going to upgrade some stuff and we're going to go find a motor. What's up, Halder? So let's sell all this stuff. Oh, we got lots. Wow, we had a lot. Those rubies are worth so much. Crazy. Okay, well. I think that's four. Yeah, we have so much gold. Well, you know what? We haven't done this yet. Let's uh, let's buy the fishing rod and some bait as well. All right, let's check this thing out. I'm super excited about this. Frostner. Oh yeah, it just looks awesome even. I'm all about this, all about it. Oh yeah, we're fancy now. Fancy now. I like it. You know, I'm noticing there is no helmet. There's a wolf wolf armor chest and legs. There's the back piece, but there is no helmet. Uh, usually these things have a set, I'm pretty sure. So we must be missing an item so far that we haven't got uh, in the mountains that's going to unlock that. There's got to be something we've, we've missed, uh, I think. Because you'd think there would be something. Anyways, uh, I've made our nails and stuff. So hopefully, hopefully this is going to be uh, worth it. That's about 10. It was 10 iron to make the nails. Uh, which isn't that bad, but I mean, hopefully it's hopefully it's worth it. I've also went ahead. I've got everything we need for a portal, so we can always portal back once we're across. And uh, what else? Uh, our harpoon, because I'm assuming we're going to end up fighting some things while we're out there. We need a workbench, really. The workbench thing gets me every time. <laughs> All right, let's see exactly what this thing is. Oh my god, this thing is huge. Oh hi, hi Eel. All right, have a boat. That's ridiculous. Well, so let's see, we got, is there storage? Oh, nice, it's a pretty good size storage. Okay, let's put all this stuff in there for now. Uh, not too bad, actually. 
All right, let's see how let's see how it handles, I guess. All right, so now we're up out on the open ocean. I figured I'd let you guys know if you're waiting for a Valheim multiplayer, it is coming back. We are just having an issue with the server for a couple days here. There's something with the hosting. I'm not sure all the details, uh, but it will be back later in the week. So don't worry about that. It should be back actually anytime now, and hopefully the time this video comes out, the next one will be recorded and we'll be good to go. Just so you guys are aware. Those long ships seems it seems faster. I mean, we're obviously like. We're three times as long as we're covering as like more ground, but it definitely seems faster. Uh, so okay, so I don't know how to get down here. Um, I do know like there's like this is land here and here, land obviously there. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try to come through here and see if this is land. I don't remember if it is or not, but I'm hoping we can kind of go like down and then this way. I'm hoping. Oh, these goblin camps are awesome. We're just not quite ready for it yet, but that's so cool. A couple bonfires, some watchtowers, it's awesome. Whoa! What's the Mistlands? So I think the Mistlands is one of the incomplete biomes, which now I want to find it. Oh, this isn't good timing. Oh, we found it! Oh, that's not cool at all. Is this spider webs? Oh, I don't like this. Is that the next biome is gonna be spiders? No. <laughs> I didn't think this was in the game yet. I uh, I know this is the like uh, the work the thing they're working on. So they're adding Ashlands and Mistlands, I believe, the next two biomes. So this will be the next one we have to find, which is awesome. Look at that. Is that just a normal tree? What kind of tree is that? Ancient root. Holy, that's... Can we build in this thing? Okay, no damage. Okay. So, I don't think it gets any brighter here. But, uh, look at the size of these trees. If we can build in any of these, I'm not sure how far these webs go up, and I'm not sure if spiders are gonna be in the trees, but if we can build up there, that's nuts. Like these are, these have to be way bigger than the swamp trees. Uh, this biome also, not very big on this one anyways. Um, it's, oh, there's more over here it looks like, but it's literally like just this and then it goes into swamp. So I'm not sure if there's more, like more over this way or whatever, but there's there's nothing here so far. Like there's a little bit over there it looks like. But there's definitely nothing here so far that I can see. Um, so yeah, we're going to head back in the boat and get out of here. But that's super cool. Uh, I am kind of terrified of the fact that obviously spiders are coming though. I, I don't like the fact that the next boss is going to be a giant spider. I can already tell. Nope. Don't like it. Alright, I finally found a place to dock our boat. Now, this island is huge. So, this is, it's all swamp, like almost the whole way around. And then there's planes throughout all this. So, I don't know, this could be a really good island or like a really, really bad. But we're gonna park our boat here. Uh, I'm gonna build a small shelter inside this little castle thing. Uh, I think it's a good spot for it for now because we need to make sure that we don't die and have to go all the way back because this is a long trip. Also, let's test out Frostnir. Okay, yeah, that's all right. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. But oh, dang, that's right. That was a solid amount of damage right there. And he slowed. Oh, I, lo I love this weapon. This is awesome. That's awesome. Why is there a furling, fooling, goblin guy here? Are we that close to a planes? We must be. It must be a planes right there. 
Oh, that's annoying. All right, come on, buddy. Let's see how Frostnir does against you. I love the freeze. I love that. All right, well, I've got a decent little makeshift shelter here. Uh, we're right close to a plains, though, which I don't... I mean, I guess obviously I knew that. It's right here. Um, but we're going to try to go up into the mountains straight away and just see if we can scale the mountains the whole way. I think this whole thing is a mountain, which is crazy if it is. Uh, I've also made a portal here so we can get home whenever we need, which is perfect. Uh, yeah, so let's head in the mountains and see what we can find here, I guess. Oh, it's a skeleton spawner. This mace is amazing. Oh, I love this thing. Oh, I think we found the uh, the altar. Incomplete offering. Of course, it doesn't. So this one doesn't actually tell us what it needs. I mean, I know we know it needs dragon eggs. It looks like it needs three dragon eggs. Offering bowl. But usually they have like a hint, like you know, the first one was like burn them all or whatever. Oh, it's so cool. Alright, well now we know where this is. Uh, let me just kill this wolf real quick. And then... Is that one? Yep. Get wrecked. Might as well kill you as well. Well, we found the altar, and we've only really explored a small amount of this. Like, I've gone from our outpost up this way. And look at this. I've already found, uh, what, six silver veins? I mean, it's crazy. And we haven't explored any of this yet. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to map out, like, the outside edge. Oh, there's another egg right there, it looks like. Which means that's two eggs. Uh, yeah, that should be the second egg right there. So if that's the second one, that means you only need one more on this on this part of the world here in order to actually summon this thing. So I think we need to build a big ass base somewhere in this mountain because this is too cool to pass up. And the fact that we got so much silver, like if this is this big, if it's honestly this big, we, we gotta stay here. Uh, I am still looking for whatever the item is that hasn't dropped yet. I think it's gonna be like either the stone golem head or the head of uh, one of the drakes, because there's nothing else that could be, I don't think, another spawner. Uh, nothing else I, I think that it could be that would be like holding back the uh, the helmet. But I definitely want that, and I want to gear up like really heavy before we move anywhere near the plains. I feel like the Grinch looking down on Whoville, like I'm about to steal Christmas or Christmas or something like that. There, this is like the edge of the uh, edge of a mountain. There's another one over there, so that area is divided into two mountains, but it's only separated by like a little valley here. <clears throat> and then there's this crazy camp between them. I really want to go down there, but like, look, look at that thing. That's a giant goblin. Like a giant goblin. Ah. Uh... I really want to go down there, but I'm so afraid we're going to die. Oh, of course, Mosquito, come on. One more hit, one more hit. Another one? Where is he? No! Oh. Stupid mosquitoes!
Ow. Hot that big guy right there. Oh no. I don't like that, no. You stay away. He's like chugging along. Oh god. Nope. Take some poison. Take some poison. No. <laughs> Just die, little guy. Come on. No mosquito, come on, not now. That's so not fair. Die, 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 die. Oh. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Mosquito's gonna kill me. No! Oh. Well, that was an ordeal. Uh, I managed to get our stuff back, but it took like three deaths. <laughs> we died like here, and then I died again here, and then again here. Oh, uh, the mosquitoes! Uh, I ran like just the length of the uh, like around the hill here, the mountain. Mosquitoes, though, they're just like one shot you because I have no. Well, we're out of food at the moment. We're real struggling. Uh, I am out of food. I'm. Uh, we're about to break all kinds of stuff here. So I have an idea. Unfortunately, it's going to take me a few minutes to do, but what we're going to do is we're going to go home, we're going to repair our stuff, and then we're going to build... This This is done. This is like, I don't like this, and I we need to get smelting silver really badly. So up here is the boss. We found like, well, there's uh, an egg there, 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 one there. I think I saw another one over here somewhere. So we have lots of eggs. What I want to do though is I want to make a build somewhere, like a cabin, somewhere in here, you know, maybe. And then I really want to make a build that incorporates the altar into it, but I don't want to do it till after we kill the boss. So what I'm thinking we do is I'm going to go up there, I'm going to get a bunch of materials together, I'm going to build a cabin and make a smeltery, and then hopefully next episode we can fight the boss maybe, or try to, and see what that's like. All we're going to do really is get like whatever this helmet is, which I'm pretty sure uh, I looked it up and it is uh, Drake heads, I need two of them. And then it's going to be a matter of just upgrading our gear, which I can do that. It's not a huge deal. It's going to be like, well, let's go back to the base and see what that takes, I guess. So to upgrade all this stuff, it's just going to take silver and pelts, looks like. Yeah, not, not even a whole lot of silver, even. Uh, Frostner, just more silver. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is we do that, and then uh, what am I upgrading this thing to? Yeah, again, just silver and guck. And if we can get like six or seven nodes done... Um, that's really not that bad, especially if I get, there's four nodes right here, and if we build a place right in here, we can get five nodes pretty easily. So, what I gotta do though, is I need to take the stuff to make a stone cutter, which means I need iron, and a forge, which means I need copper, which means I gotta take our boat from here. Uh, I already I already broke our um, the big boat, by the way, uh, so we have all the stuff for that. 
but I need to take our small boat, I guess. I'll take the craft, the craft of from here, and I'm gonna go back around with it. And yeah, I'm gonna sail back around with a few pieces of iron and copper. But I'll do that, and then uh, we'll go building, I guess. So I'll see you guys like in an hour. Oh, this isn't good. We're gonna sink. We're so gonna sink. Don't hit me. No. Oh, we're so gonna sink. Oh, did he go away? Our boat is not looking good right now. All right, so I brought everything that I think is gonna be relevant. We have enough stuff to do like, I brought iron for the stone cutter. I brought pretty much all of our iron, our copper, a little bit of bronze some tin. So we can do cooking and stuff here. I brought copper so we can do a forge. We're gonna need a bunch of things out here and we're gonna have to do like just all kinds of stuff. But what I did on the way down here, I actually went uh, through here instead of all the way around. And uh, I went around this, and this is actually really gonna be a really good island because there's at least three um, goblin camps. So there's the big one that we found over here, there's one over here I saw, and there's another one somewhere over here we saw last, uh, like earlier in the video. And then this dark forest goes pretty much all the way around over to like here, so it's not a bad size. So I'm hoping there's two or three copper nodes in there we can go get, and some tin nodes and stuff. And then I'm hoping we can get a bunch of iron nodes here. If not, there's looks like there's a uh, land over here somewhere too. And we all, oh yeah, that's the mist lines we found earlier. So then um, I'm hoping with all the silver and everything we can upgrade this because this could be a really good area to get everything we needed upgraded and built and going. And then we can raid uh, the goblin places from here after we beat the boss. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So let me tell you guys my plan that most likely won't happen. <laughs> I have it in my mind. I have a huge project that I want to do here, and it involves this rune stone, which I just realized we can actually read the rune stone here. <laughs> Anyways, what I want to do once we beat the boss, we're gonna use this area for a while, I think. So I think we'll turn, we'll put like stone all down here, make this into a courtyard with this being like the center of the courtyard. We'll put like towers and stuff up over here. We'll hang the courtyard up over like over the cliff a little bit over this hill. We'll put uh, a building up on that uh, that rock face there. Another one up over here. Maybe something in between the two. Maybe a uh, like a bridge or something. We'll do like not a castle, but like a bunch of structures around here. Maybe, maybe that's kind of what I'm what I'm seeing in my mind. But for now, what we need to do. Obviously, I don't want to do that till we beat the boss because she'll just break everything. So what I'm thinking we do for now is this part here. If we destroy all of this uh, all this rock and stuff. This is already a nice flat spot and I'm thinking let's just put a log cabin up here for now and a nice little smeltery and stuff and then if we'll uh, you know if we decide later we don't we don't want to do the big project we've got lots of room over here we can put another building up top here we can make this into like an actual um, like forge area with like a cabin up here or something which I'm actually gonna put the cabin up here anyways because it's kind of a nice spot within the trees maybe if I flatten this and put it, yeah, you know, flatten this, put it right here. Maybe this might be a better spot than down there. Maybe. Um, yeah, I'm going to start figuring out what to do for this area quickly. And then uh, I'll bring you guys back once I have kind of an idea in my mind. All right, so I've got a pretty, oh, there's wolves. I see him. Oh, no. Straight trick face, oh, get wrecked. Get shot, oh, get wrecked with one shot, that's right. How about you? 
Oh, you can't get up here. That's too bad. I can't hit you. That's also too bad. Jeez. All right, so as I was trying to say before those guys interrupted me, uh, I have a general layout kind of going here. Now, I've changed this about three times already, and it's kind of it's kind of working, but it's kind of having some issues. So what we're going to do, uh, we have this entryway. It's going to be like a, a step forward here. Then we're going to have steps kind of coming down. They're going to be a stone. This stone is going to be built down a little bit. Same with this side. Uh, we're going to have this fire pit. It's going to be built up. I think this is a cool, cool idea because what we can do is we can put like... Um, like shelving across in certain spots if we wanted, you know, make some like decoration on this thing. Kind of have like a nice mantle, uh, if you will. And then there's gonna be a little spot over here for whatever. This gives us lots of room having the hearth though that we can put um, several of the, what do you call it? The uh, food racks on it. Same as we have at home. And then also the, the cauldron in the center, which I think is a really cool way to do that because you kind of get a lot of food plus the cauldron on it. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have out the back, it won't be centered. I don't think we're gonna have a, a nice balcony out here i want to do some large windows on either side and then kind of a second floor on this but nothing crazy up there and then we'll put probably i'll either rip this stone piece like down and like over so it's flat with this uh, or i'll put our forge stuff kind of down here uh, right now i have a portal and a few things down there uh, i might do our forge down this way um depending on how much room we're gonna need but uh this turned out a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to, but I wanted to have lots of room to do some interior stuff, and this might be way too big. We probably could have cut this down by half, to be honest. Um, but no matter what, either way, I need a ton of materials. I'm, I'm pretty much out of materials here, and I went to the house, uh, pretty much got everything there. We had a little bit of stone left over there, but nothing major, so I gotta spend some time farming materials. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna call the episode here. That way, I'm not holding it up just for uh, this. I'd rather get it out, and then I'll build this between episodes, or part of it at least. And then uh, next episode, we'll come back, check this out. Maybe we'll do the fight with uh, the fight with the boss, and then we're gonna start working on the big build, which I think is gonna be more important than showing you guys this. I'd rather show you guys the big important one, um, and this can be just kind of a temporary thing, anyways. So, yeah. On that note, guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna get some sleep. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. And as always, I'll see you next time.